What's up, everybody? Today is Friday, October 4th. I have a lot of great information. I think it's really good information, especially for buyers and sellers. Uh, very important information, in my opinion. I'm going to run really quickly through the stats for the last seven days. But more importantly, right after that, I am going to get into um, a September review. And I'm going to kind of show you a few months back. We're headed, you know, we're now in the fourth quarter of the year. So I got. I want to show you guys. This is a great. This will give you a great picture of what the market actually is right now. Okay, and where the market has come from, and possibly where it could be headed. All right. So, that being said, let's get into it. Coming soon, twenty one. Remember, this is Conejo Valley, Simi Valley, and Moore Park. List new listings, fifty seven. Price change, seventy seven. Back on market, nineteen. Active under contract, forty one. Pending's at 30, the real close number is 45, expired 10, canceled 11, hold four and withdrawn five. Comparing the new listings at 57 to active under contract at 41, we are starting to see if this becomes the new trend. New listings are growing compared to the active under contract number at 41. However, this active under contract number at 41 has been super consistent. Very, very, very consistent. Um, I don't have time to show you the price changes today, but what I can guarantee you, and I'll show you in the, the next uh, uh, visual graph, is that the price changes are all downward red arrows. Okay, everybody is in price reduction mode. All right, so now let us get into, all right, here is the graph. This is uh, going back to, this graph goes all the way back to January of 2023, Right over here in the middle is January, uh, not so much the middle, January of 2024. We are looking at the median sales prices in Westlake Village, uh, Thousand Oaks, Simi Valley, and Moore Park. So in September, the median sales price was of 1665000 In Thousand Oaks, $1,060,000. In Simi Valley, $830,000. And Moore Park, $955,000. Now you see that the median sales price went up in Westlake Village, but everybody's talking about we're in a down market. The reason is Westlake Village has the most expensive property in the Conejo Valley, folks. So a lot of those homes that were um, priced much higher, they're now on sale. And so we've been seeing a lot of transactions, a lot more transactions in Westlake Village than we have seen in the last year or two. All right, uh, next we are going to look at price per square foot. This is also the median. Right now, after September, the median price per square foot in Westlake Village was $685. Thousand Oaks, $564. Simi Valley, $512. Moore Park, $452. So that went up in Westlake Village from $606 to $685. It went up in Thousand Oaks from $539 to $564. In Simi, it went from 494 to 512, but in Moore Park, it went down from 471 to 452. Now, remember, that's because the market is in reduction mode. Prices are coming down. But why does price per square foot go up? Because there's more transactions on the more expensive homes. All right, that's the reason. All right, let's take a look now at the new listings numbers. New listings numbers. All right. In Westlake Village in September, we had 68 new listings. In Thousand Oaks, we had 65. In Simi Valley, we had 112. And in Moore Park, we had 28. Now that we've talked about the new listings, one of the numbers I always go over with you guys is months of supply. This is the absorption rate. Remember now, a normal market, a normal market absorption rate is right around six months. Well, look at this, folks. Westlake Village is at 4.1 months of inventory. Now, if you go back all the way to January of 2023, we had 2.7 months of inventory. And look at TO, two months, 1.8 in Simi and 1.9 in Moore Park. Well, now we have 4.1 in Westlake. Thousand Oaks has 2.8, that's nearly three months. Simi Valley has 2.8 months and Moore Park has 2.4. So Westlake is, is growing closer towards a normal balanced market in terms of how many homes are available compared to how many buyers there are. However, uh, Simi, Thousand Oaks and Moore Park, they are still considered low inventory markets. All right, now let's take a look. This is a very good, important number. 
the percentage of original price, the median. I'm looking at the median percentage of original price. So what the property sold at versus what was the original listed price of the home. In September, we sold at 96.5% of the original price. In Thousand Oaks, look at this, folks, 99.2%. So you're not going to get as much of a deal in Thousand Oaks as you are in Westlake. And this is what I was just telling you about is that the luxury market is on sale right now in Westlake Village. Simi Valley is at 100%. All right. Even with with their uh, growing inventory, there's a lot of more affordable homes in Simi Valley. And the same with Moore Park is at 98.1 percent. So what these graphs are showing you is prices have been coming down. Inventory has been rising and we are seeing it take a little bit longer for homes to sell. In September, it took 28 days in Westlake Village for home to sell. In Thousand Oaks, 31 Simi Valley, 29, and Moore Park, 36. All right, so that's the review of September and leading up to quarter four of 2024. Let me show you guys really quickly, if you're still watching, a quick run through of the rates. The rates have been creeping up, and today they went up a little bit faster than we'd like to see. The 30-year fix is at 6.53. The 15-year fix is at 5.88. The 30-year jumbo is at 6.60. The seven and six SOFR arm is at 6.35%. The 30 year FHA is at 6.04%. And the 30 year VA is at 6.06%. All right, so that was a lot of information that we ran through today, um, but very important information because it gives you a scope of what's going on in the market. There's pressure on sellers to have a very aggressive price when they come out or their home is sitting. Buyers, rates are starting to creep up. Uh, but don't worry, they're going to start going back down again. That's just the normal cycle of things. The Fed has indicated that they're going to cut the federal interest rate again in November, which again, remember the federal in, uh, interest rate has no, it's not tied to mortgage rates, but it definitely does have an impact on them. So with all this information in front of you, I would love to hear your thoughts and plans for the rest of the year for real estate in 2024, what you have coming up, what you're thinking about doing in 2025 please send me a text, shoot me an email, give me a call. I love calls. And I would love to meet with you in person and discuss your plans. My name is Josh Brenner. I am with Compass right here in Westlake Village, California. If you like information about real estate and live in the Conejo Valley, Simi Valley, or Moore Park, or thinking about moving to this area, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget to get some exercise today, everybody. Yeah, have a good day. Bye-bye.